Welcome to Retro Arcade Reviews. My name is John, and in this episode, we will be reviewing the arcade classic, Ninja Gaiden. Originally titled Ninja Ryuken then, which translates to Legend of the Dragon Sword. Tecmo changed the US name to Gaiden, which translates to Side Story, because it sounded better and it was easier to pronounce. Ninja Gaiden is a side-scrolling beat-em-up that was developed by Tecmo in 1988. Similar to Capcom Strider, Ninja Gaiden, the arcade game, and the NES version were two separate projects worked on simultaneously, each with their own directors and teams. Now, this game is a far cry from the popular NES classic, which was a way better game. I think everyone who had an NES owned a copy of Ninja Gaiden because it was a great game. It was fast-paced, had nice gameplay, and had a great story. It was one of the first games to have cinematic cutscenes between boards with a compelling storyline. It also had awesome music. It was just all there, a full package. So one day, I took a trip to my local theater, and then I saw it. Ninja Gaiden, the arcade game. I saw the marquee, and I couldn't believe it. There was a Ninja Gaiden arcade game I thought to myself, it must be awesome because the NES version is awesome, so the arcade game must be bonkers. I had a fistful of quarters and made my way towards the cabinet with feelings of excitement, only to be sorely, sorely disappointed. I mean, the graphics look better than the NES naturally, and it has one of the most memorable continue screens ever, but that's it. The game actually played like your typical side-scrolling beat-em-up, kind of like Double Dragon, minus the awesome soundtrack. I remember dying pretty quickly and playing again, but after the second time, I was just so, I don't know, I don't think I was Bored, more like frustrated, I guess. I mean, it's so hard to treat the game as separate from its NES counterpart if they share the same name, so one can't help but to compare the two, even if they're different games. In this game, you control a ninja on a sightseeing road trip slash mission to save the world from an evil cult led by Bladidamus, a descendant of Nostradamus. You have to fight your way through six stages of beefed up brainwashed cult members and defeat Bladidamus' attempt to fulfill an end of the world prophecy foretold by Nostradamus. At your Disposal, you can throw down in fisticuffs, perform a flying neck throw or hang from a bar, and perform a hanging kick. You can also perform a flip off the wall, which becomes an attack if you grab the sword icon, but this wall flip can be annoying at times. If you ever get the chance to play on the original arcade cabinet, you'll notice a button on the top of the 8-way controller. This button was used to grab onto any overhead bar or rope. You can also gain award items like health recovery, time extension, extra life, etc. by tossing enemies onto dumpsters, telephone booths, and signposts. 1988 to 1989 was a period of transition for the side-scrolling beat-em-up genre. You see, Ninja Gaiden played very similar to games like Renegade and Double Dragon, which was starting to be perceived as an old model because around this time, Konami and Capcom would re-energize the genre with TMNT and Final Fight. Compared to these games, Ninja Gaiden just seemed like a chore to play. It felt like a game that should have been released in the arcades two to four years prior, and even if it did, it still pretty much paled in comparison to other games of the genre. Ninja Gaiden, also known as Shadow Warriors in Europe, was ported over to the Amiga, the Amstrad, Atari ST, Atari Lynx, ZX Spectrum, and the Commodore 64. It was included in Ninja Gaiden Black as a hidden bonus game for the Xbox and was also available on the Wii's Virtual Console. Because of its association with the hit NES and Xbox series, the game didn't disappear into the obscurity, but I find the name Gaiden is a more fitting title for the arcade game. Maybe Tecmo should have used the character Ryu Hayabusa from the original NES title in both titles, keep the original name Ninja Ryuken Den for the NES, and use Gaiden for the arcade version. Because that's what the game sort of feels like, a side story. And if you're interested, I say play the game, let me know what you think.